Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, you should subscribe and turn on my post notifications so you don't miss an upload. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my favorite beauty products of 2019 with you guys. So I have some hair products, some makeup products, some skincare, and I have a couple random beauty products that I will also share. I'm going to start with the hair products. So this is the first thing. It is a Kiss InstaWave curling wand thing. So the way you do it is you just plug it in and it has a low and a high setting. There's a little turning button thing here that you push. I think it's really cool because it has like a beeper thing whenever your hair's been in there too long and you don't want to fry your hair off. And I do recommend using heat protector, but I don't have a favorites of that in my video, but I do use the Tresemme, but I'm wanting to try the Chi one. I'm going to be sharing the prices also of these things with you guys. I just got to look those up. Okay, so it is $41.99 at Bed Bath & Beyond. Yeah, that's the only one I'm seeing, so I guess that's where my mom got it for me. So the next product is the Chi Air Straightener. This is what I use to straighten my hair, and I actually didn't do anything to my hair today. I just brushed it when I got up because my hair is really naturally straight and thinner. It's like, I have a lot of hair, but it's like fine. So this works really good for me, but if you have really curly hair, I honestly don't know. This is about $55, so like in the $60 range too. I think they, each chi is like different in that range of money though, so $55, $60. The next thing is this hairspray. So I use this every time I curl my hair or if I'm taming my baby hairs when I do like a half up, half down kind of deal. So this is the Tresemme Freeze Hold 5 in one kind of hairspray. You can literally get this at Walmart, Dollar General, um, Walgreens, any of those places, I guess. The next thing is dry shampoo. So my hair doesn't get oily too fast. I can go like four days without washing it before it gets oily. And that might sound gross to some people, but that's what I do. Except sometimes when I do sports, it gets sweaty and gross, so I have to wash it then. So I use this when it's starting to get that way just a little bit. Like if I go on the fourth day and it's starting to get there, I'll use this. And this is the Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Refreshing Dry Shampoo. And it is only like $3, I think, at Walmart or Dollar General or any of those stores. And it works good for the amount of money it is. Next, I have the Healthy Sexy Hair. And this is a leave-in conditioner. And I don't use this all the time, but sometimes I use it when I don't use my leave-in conditioner that I already have in my shower, which is Aussie. Oh, I should have added my favorite shampoos and stuff. I use Aussie Moist, and sometimes I rotate it with Tresemme because you're supposed to kind of rotate your hair products once in a while so your hair doesn't like get built up you know because that would be gross <laughs> so this was like 18 dollars at ulta or 20 somewhere around there i got it last year during black friday but it wasn't even on sale so i don't know why i bought it <laughs> literally they're like hairspray and stuff was on sale but i bought that instead it was a really dumb quick decision i made so i have everything laying out on my bed so i think that's the last yeah that's the last hair product i have so the next thing is a self tanner. I use the Loving Tan 2 Hour Express Deluxe Bronzing Mousse in the shade Medium. And this is really good for me because I'm not very dark at all naturally. So this looks really natural on me. And there's also like a dark shade and an ultra dark you can use for if you're already kind of a little bit of a darker person. But it works so good and it honestly lasts a while. Like if you shave, exfoliate, and moisturize before you apply it and then you continue moisturizing daily, it'll stay on for a while. And to put it on my face, I use this e.l.f. little cheap brush, face brush. It's like for foundation, I got it at Walmart. And then I actually have the Loving Tan Mitt that I use on my body, which you can buy with this. This is like, it's actually kind of pricey. It's like $45, I think, but I'm not gonna look up the price of every single one of these items because I'm, that's gonna take a lot of time and I don't have time to do that really. So yeah, this was like $45, I think. Some places it'll be like 60, so make sure you look carefully where you buy it. And I think I got it cheaper on Ulta, but I think like the actual Loving Tan website, 
I don't know, you guys will just have to do some research and check it out. And then the mitt is like $15. The next thing I got at Sephora, and this is a brush cleaner. So I'm not gonna open this cause it's kind of hard to put the stuff back in cause this little zipper thing. This was only like $10 I think. And it comes with like a little cloth to dry your brushes and it also comes with the actual brush cleaner thing. So you just pour your brush cleaner on it and you just rub it around and it works so good. Like I've never seen my brushes so clean cause I literally used to use my fingers and nothing would work. And so there's no point in washing them. But now I have this handy thing and it works so much better. So the next thing is nail polishes and I don't really paint my nails all the time because I like to go get them done. But right now I'm in basketball season so I don't get them done cause I don't wanna mess with it. I don't wanna worry about breaking a nail or anything like that. So if I do paint my nails, I use one of these three brands. So this is Trust Fund Beauty. Trust Fund Beauty, yeah. And this is a cute light pink shade. Sorry, they're like clicking, they're all in my lap. <laughs> and then this is like another shade in that. So I got these both in Ipsy and I love them. They work really good compared to any other nail polish I've used. These are by Essie, and you can actually buy these at Walmart. I have three shades. I have like a nude, a white, and a pink. Sorry, this is probably really annoying. And the last one I have is, I literally don't even know how to say this. My mom got this from her friend who lives in California a long time ago. And there's also like a clear shade I got in this, but it's in my Alex Shores, so I'm not gonna get it. But it's like Deborah Lip Men. It sounds French. Honestly. This is kind of old too, so I actually don't know why I still have this, but it still works okay, so. Okay, sorry, there's a, I have, okay, so I moved in town and it's really awkward because um, I have neighbors really close to me and I'm used to living in the country, so when I would take selfies and stuff, I wouldn't have to worry about somebody literally being right next to me staring in my window awkwardly so i have to deal with that now so sometimes i just randomly stop talking when i'm filming because it's awkward i don't even think i'm talking to myself when i'm filming and i don't have like a camera set up it's my phone so that makes it a little bit more awkward and it's in front of my window for the natural lighting you know i'm gonna have to get over being scared whenever people see me film like It'll be different when I get a camera and if I like vlog and stuff in public, but when it's just people that can see you in your window, it's really awkward. So, okay. Moving on to skincare. So I have noticed such a difference in my skin when I, since I started using this it is the Duval skincare brush system. And it looks like this and you put one of the heads on here. I have a body exfoliating brush head. This is just the normal cleansing one and this is a little bit dirtier looking because I always use this one when I wear foundation and makeup. And on days I don't wear makeup, I exfoliate my face with this exfoliating head. And then there's just this little buffing thing. I'm pretty sure this is for your feet. I don't know, I need to. My feet are like callousy right now because I'm in basketball and my shoes, like, I don't even know. I just didn't go get a pedicure. So anyway, I absolutely love this. So you just put it on like this. It's amazing. Luckily, you know what? I'm just gonna look up how much this is. I'm pretty sure it's really expensive, but I got it on sale, fortunately. I used another YouTuber's code and I got like 75% off, so. So I could have swore this was the Duval skincare brush, but I guess it's Vanity Planet Spin. So I've been wrong this whole entire time thinking I was right, it's fine. <laughs> but anyway, it's $100 originally, but I got it for like $30. Like I was so lucky because I just used that code. Okay, they just left. That was getting so awkward. Okay, I'm so awkward, I can't help it. That is a lifesaver, I literally love that. I wouldn't recommend using it every single day, which I kind of do sometimes, but um, because it like pulls on your skin and it like, deep cleans your skin, but I don't know if your skin needs to have that going on every day, especially since I'm only 16 and I have young skin still. So, I don't know. So, I have to have face wash to use on my skincare brush, obviously. So, I use the Cetaphil or Cetaphil. I don't really know how to say it. I got it at Walmart and this big thing was probably like, I think it was like $10, which is actually 
a good price for that. So I use this and it actually works really good. But I also used this one, it was like Mirad and it was like an orange, but it was like, it worked good too. And it was like specifically for acne. And this is just kind of more gentle on your skin. So I don't really know. But to make up for that, I use a good harsh toner. I guess kind of harsh, but not too bad. It's the Neutrogena, it's the Neutrogena Rapid Clear 2-in-1 Fight and Fade Toner. It says it fights breakouts in under eight hours and it fades the look of post acne scars. And I don't want acne scars being this young and I also don't want them when I'm older. So why not start now? <laughs> but anyway, I just put this on a little cotton ball and by the way, I've been thinking of doing a skincare routine video. I think that would be really cool. Something I've been interested in and like get ready with me in the morning and like nighttime routines, all of that stuff I've been wanting to do. So those will be coming out eventually, probably in the new year. I cannot believe 2020 is right around the corner. It's crazy to think about. I was born in 2003, like literally. And now it's gonna be 2020 and I'm gonna be, well, I'm still a sophomore. I have one semester left of being a sophomore. And my boyfriend graduates. Okay, I'm just gonna stop talking now. I'm rambling and we need to get this video done because I've already been filming for almost 18 minutes. Then I use the Garnier Sorry, my stuff just fell. The Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. It removes makeup and cleanses and soothes all in one. And I really like this because I use it to get all the extra makeup off my face and my eye makeup, it works really good. Like, you know, whenever you're like, use a makeup wipe and you're tugging at your face and you're tugging at your eyelashes, that's not good for them, obviously. So this is a lot gentler to use on a cotton pad. The next thing I have is the Mario Badescu Skincare Spray. This is the facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. They also have like a purple one and a green one. I want all three of them, like I love these. This is so refreshing to just spray on your face. Sometimes I spray it after my makeup, sometimes I spray it before I go to bed, anytime honestly, but it's just, I love it. I don't actually know if it helps you. Like it's kind of hydrating, but I don't actually know if it's necessary, but I like it, so I'm gonna keep purchasing it. The next thing is this Belief Moisturizer. I love this stuff. And along with that, I also have the eye cream. Oh. And I got these both in Ipsy and I, I'm literally in love. Using them together is just perfect. I'm actually almost out of this one, but as you can see, it's kind of like a gel. And then this is the eye cream. And yes, I know I'm only 16, but I already use eye cream. I'm starting all this early. That's just how my mom has raised me start on your skin ahead of time, you know, it's gonna be a lot better in the long run. Okay, the next thing I love, I've been wanting one of these for so long. This is a lip exfoliating scrub and it smells so good. It's a sugar lip scrub by Kismet Buff. It literally smells like watermelon and I accidentally got it in my mouth because whenever you use lip scrub or chapstick, it's gonna get in your mouth a little bit and it tastes I use this once in a while and I really feel like I just, whenever I use it, I put chapstick on, my lips are so plump. Like they're so plump after you use this and it just makes them so much better. I love it, I love it. Along with that, after I use that, sometimes I use this. It is literally just lip therapy Vaseline in, okay, I thought this had like a flavor, like vanilla or something. It does, it's something, I don't know. but. Literally, this was 50 cents at Walmart. I already repurchased it because I ran out of my, This one's my first one and it's almost all gone. So I started using out of my new one already. But it literally works so good. I will put it on, sleep in it, and my lips, like if you've had really chapped lips, they will start healing so fast. Like, it's like instant almost. I love it so much. Next, we're gonna move in. This is the last set of products I have and it's makeup. So let's get started. I've got to start with this. It's just the best. I'm sure you all know what this is. The Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I'm in love with this. I'm literally in love with it. I have it on right now. I don't know if you can see it very good. But I did that this morning and I had church today also. So I usually do my makeup, like my eyeshadow on church days. But sometimes for school, I don't have time, so I don't get to do it every day. And it makes me really sad because I love doing eyeshadow. It's just such an art, like, on your face. It's, like, probably my favorite part, honestly. So here's all the shades. 
I'm so proud of this lighting right now. Like outside, it's really good lighting. Yeah. I've been wanting to do a video on an eyeshadow look with this palette, but I have to wait and get some better lighting systems. Like right there, that's where I do my makeup and I have to move my body mirror over there, roll in a rolly chair because my room is so tiny and do my makeup right there. But I want one of those things like that have light bulbs all around them. And then I'll have like, I'll buy a chair that I don't have to roll in and out of here that's small enough to fit and I'll do it there so that'll be better lighting but I don't want to do another makeup tutorial until I get better lighting like I didn't even want to do my everyday makeup tutorial because I knew the video wouldn't be as good but I'll just do an updated one in the future whenever I get better lighting so let's move into mascaras I have five here so this one's the Maybelline Lash Sensation as you can see it's been very used <laughs> this is the wand it has and I really like this, but it's running really low, so I actually need to get some more. Then the next one is also by Maybelline. It's the Falsies. Falsies. And I naturally have long eyelashes, so maybe if your eyelashes are like a lot shorter, um, these might not work as good for you, but I think I noticed a difference with them. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. Okay, here I have the Too Faced. Here I have the L'Oreal. So this one is $25 or so around there from Sephora. This one is like eight, I think, or 10 from Walmart. And they literally both do the same thing. Like this is a definitely a dupe for this, but I will say for the price of this, you're gonna get a little bit better result. But for the price of this being cheaper, you're literally gonna get a good enough result where I don't think it's worth spending all the money on that one than the other one. This is the one from Sephora, and this is the one from Walmart. <laughs> so, I use both those. This one's getting low also. All my mascaras are getting low. I just need to go get new ones. And I also had some more mascaras in my Ipsy bag that I had at the beginning of 2019, but I didn't save them because I actually didn't start my YouTube channel until later in the year. So now I don't have those anymore, but there's some good ones by Tarte and stuff, so I look into those also. This is by Benefit, it's Bad Gal Bang. I love this, I literally love this. It lengthens your lashes, it volumizes them, everything, and it does it like all in one. That's the best out of all of those, I would say. And that one's like 25 at Sephora. This is just the Morphe Beauty Blender, and I love this. It's actually really dirty and gross right now. I need to clean it. But I have used this for a while, ever since I got it this year, and I, I love it, I use it every day. Okay, now I'm gonna do highlighters, blushes, and contours. So, or bronzers. This is by Lovecraft Beauty, and this is a bronzer. And then it's, I got this in Ipsy. You probably remember me opening this if you watched those videos. And I really like this. It really like contoured the face. And this is another one by Ciate. I love this brand. Like I've got a lot of stuff in Ipsy by them, and I love it. It's running low, but I like it. Next, we have blushes. This is face case. I just got this in my December glam bag and I love it. Okay. It is the perfect, sh I have it on now and okay. I know it doesn't look like I have a lot of blush on and it's not super pigmented, but that is what I like for my blush because I don't like the pinky color to take over my cheeks. I'm just not into that. <laughs> so this is just the perfect amount for me. So this is like a half highlight, half blush by Pixie. All my makeup is just gross. <laughs> like this is all stuff I I'm low on and I need to get more and you know. This is two highlighters I'm gonna show you. This is by Ofra. I got this in Ipsy. I love this, it works so good. It's like really popping on your cheekbones. But I don't know how much that costs, but I know this is like $3 at Walmart. It's by e.l.f. and it's the baked highlight. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. This highlight is, it doesn't work at first. And then you shred the top coat off and boom, you have this poppin' highlight coming out at you and you're like, whoa, I didn't know this was in here. Literally, you just have to keep using it and keep using it. Like maybe literally just shred off the top little thin layer of it and it'll work. Okay, next I have a primer. This is the Tarte Hydrating Primer. I love this. I got the Synipsy. And then this is a sample I got from Sephora. It's the Fenty um, Retouch Primer. It works so good. I need to actually purchase the actual bottle of it, but I just keep getting samples because I'm gross. This is the foundation that I use. It's the Maybelline Superstay, like this. 
and I'm actually wearing it today but I mixed it with one that I have that is a lighter shade and because this is obviously not my shade anymore I'm really white and <laughs> it just doesn't work so I have to mix it with like a really white foundation for it to work on me but I just haven't went and bought a lighter shade in it but I love this if you like a full coverage like it's even buildable like you don't have to use as much and it'll be a little bit lighter but no it's like full coverage queen here with this and then this I have to show this this is a concealer and this is the best concealer I have ever used okay actually I've used Tarte Shape Tape and I really like that but I ran out so I got this in Ipsy Next and I love it it's an illuminating concealer and it's by Koki Professional and it brightens under the eye so good I'm actually not wearing it today but I love it next thing is this Maybelline Master Fix as you can tell, I love Maybelline from Walmart. I love it. It works so good. Like it's affordable, way cheaper than Sephora, and you're gonna get some pretty decent stuff. So this is the translucent powder, and I use this whenever I do my eyeshadow to like set under my eyes, and it works really good. It has a tiny bit of flashback, but it's only like seven or eight dollars. So for the price of it, it's not that bad. So I'm gonna do some lipsticks now. I got the NYX. Um, soft matte lip cream. I love this. Some of these lipsticks I got in Ipsy and so they're not the perfect shade that I would choose. I like more of a nudie color but some of these are a little bit more pink and darker but I still like, how do I describe this, the texture I guess and like how long it lasts. I like that. This is the NYX. I love this shade. It's a good one. And then this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills. I love this. Like this is in the shade Crush. And it's a liquid lip. Literally love it. I wore this to prom last year. This year. That was this year in March, actually. <laughs> but like last school year when I was a freshman. This is a Steve Laurent or Laurent. Um, just law. Okay, I don't know what happened there. I'm pretty sure my straightener or my curling iron burnt it. But um, yeah, this is just a really good lip gloss to put over your lipstick or on just a plain day. A little bit of gloss, you know what I'm saying? This is a Smashbox. It's just kind of a glossy tinted color. I like it. And then the last one is a Tarte Liquid Matte. This is the last thing I have for you guys today. It is the MAC Prep and Prime. It's called MAC Fix Plus, I guess. But I literally love this. But the only thing is this, I'm not even gonna spray it. I'll get it everywhere. But the squirter on this thing is messed up. It like doesn't squirt a mist like this does. It squirts like a in your eyeball it's like annoying and I got the mini one because this thing is so expensive it's literally like I think the mini one was $16 or 12 and the full size is like 30 or 32 that's all the products I'm going to be sharing with you guys today I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below if you tried any of these products or if you go purchase them and you like them let me know and follow my social media it'll all be linked down below in the description box so thanks for watching stay positive Bye.